Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the Conflict of Nick channel. And today, um, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, I'm going to actually be starting a series of playing through uh, vehicles and War Thunder because honestly, I love this game. I've been binging it. Um, and I've seen, I think I'm at least decently good at it. Um, and so I feel like maybe I can put out some decent tank reviews for y'all. So um, today, I'm going to be basically playing probably one of my favorite tanks that I, well, basically of all time in this game that I played. Um, my first line was the American Tech Tree, and the Jumbo was uh, actually one of my favorite tanks. It's, um, the main thing about it that I love is the armor. It basically has this nice sloped armor, and it can basically auto bounce Tiger 1s. It can't really bounce the higher 88s like the Tiger 2s. Um, it'll struggle against Panthers and anything really can pen this machine gun port. But if you can play it well, um, then you'll bounce a lot of stuff on these upper plates. And the turret is honestly great all around. Even the back, you know, you won't be able to really pen that if you don't have enough penetration. Uh, when I play my IS-6, um, it can go right through the upper plate. So it just depends on what you're facing. Um, but the 76 also makes it really nice and it's great for the tier it's at. And today I'm going to be bringing along with it the, well, my favorite Corsair in the game. It's got 420 mils, a couple thousand pound bombs. It'll be a nice uh, cast addition to our jumbo here. So why don't we get into some gameplay? Now, unfortunately, here we're on Arctic. We're in a very nice tier though. It's nighttime though, unfortunately. Um, we should do pretty well. Our armor should hold up against these lower tier tanks we're fighting, hopefully. We're going against Germany and some Israeli tanks, so the infantry one will probably go right through us. But the 76mm uh, 76, the 76 millimeter is uh, stabilized uh, around 25 kilometers an hour, and it can kill pretty well, so we'll see how we can do with this. Hit that guy. See if we can get around here, maybe. Worse for you, buddy. Just absolutely demolishing with this thing. Granted, we're fighting the Germans, but this tank's armor holds up pretty well whenever you get shot. And the stabilizer is just amazing. Going for the turret there, it's my mistake. Just so dirty. Jumbo is just an amazing tank. Already up to seven kills with it. Oh, oh, that is a bomb. Now we're in a full up tier, which is not ideal. But hopefully we can still make something happen. There's a Tiger over there. Couple other tanks. That was a very bad shot. That also didn't pen somehow. That has a lot of enemy tanks. Italian Hellcat. Finally. We somehow bounced that thing. Oh, 
Oh, are you kidding me? We still bounce. We still bounced him. It's okay. Our armor is holding up a little bit. I don't think he can pen us, but he probably can. I'll give it a shot. Okay, he can. But he's got no cannon barrel. That's what you get. Yeah, well, we didn't bounce him at very close range. We bounced him a couple times when we were angled. And we're not dead. And uh, to anybody who's struggling with Shermans, uh, how I learned to do it was um, I would basically... I, I used to suck a lot, and I would... Uh, master urban combat you know get some side shots high behind corners and eventually i would just get better at it and the shermans with the stabilizers especially i think it starts at like 4.0 or something or like no 4.7 or something like that yeah um those are really good learning curves for y'all too um you know learn your tanks and learn urban combat and how to use you know light armor tanks because the shermans are not easy to use by any means but they're also not bad that is a critical tank to take out. I don't know what that one is. Oh! Yeah, that thing can go right through us. Right through the upper plate. Yeah, those 122s are not forgiving. Yet another max up tier. Delicious. That was a bad shot. There we go. What are you aiming at? Uh, first game of the day. First games of the day are not going too well for me, aiming wise. But the 76 has a very fast reload, so it's a bit forgiving. What are you? Well, that's what you are. That can kill me. Yeah, fighting 7.3 Germany is pretty scary in this thing. You got martyrs, leopards. You can just go right through you like cheese. That thing is very dangerous. Holy crap. Oh. What are you? You're also dangerous. What if we bounce? What? Are you kidding me? He shot my... Yeah, that's the thing about this turret. <laughs> I just bounced... Whatever that was, a T-34-100 from the side, because he aimed for my turret. He hit me in the hall, it would have been dead. This thing's turret is, like, not weak anywhere. Sit down. Oh no. That's not good. Well, at least he's dead. Nope. We've almost got a nuke. What is this tank? I'm aiming like dog water and we've almost got a nuke in this thing. Oh, 
Uh oh. What? Yeah, that's not good. I am I am very scared of that. I'm really pushing my luck. What the heck? What is this tank? Yep, yeah, that's a nuke. That is literally a nuke. I am aiming so bad, and it's as easy as that. <laughs> this tank is pretty good, to say the least. Such a fun little tank to play. That's why the Sherman Jumbo is honestly my favorite. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Jumbo. That's basically the Jumbo in a nutshell. It does pretty good in most terrain as long as you don't get side shot. As long as you can angle the front a bit and the turret, you know, is just <laughs> very chunky. You know, as long as you get stuff in front of you and not to your sides or back, you're gonna do pretty good. It's just very easy to play. The stabilizer is amazing guns a 76 with a fast reload so it's a very solid gun and the armor is just you know speaks for itself so i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll be doing more tanks definitely in the future i love doing these videos so hope you all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video let me know what tank you might play next